Good morning everybody, Chris here from Friendly Frenzy Games, back again with some tape to tape. We're going to rock through some expert difficulty, um, act one run, see if we can make it further than we did last time. I guess we actually did make it into act two, which was a surprise to me off the bat. Um, for those of you who might have been looking for an episode yesterday, sorry we didn't get one together for you. Uh, Blink-182 came through Toronto on Monday and it ended up being a pretty late night for me. Took me a little bit to uh, to kind of get things going yesterday, and there were some other things that I had to take care of. But can hopefully more than make up for it on this stream here. We'll see how far we can make it along in this one. Let's pop into campaign and get this one started here. So I don't remember. I think we might have left off with some rubber. I don't remember if we upgraded at the end of the last episode. Clearly we did. We only have five left here. We must have added some attributes here. Yeah, so as you can see, we're continuing to pump up Angus here. 6446, so that's pretty good. As we were talking about, I kind of remember now. Angus is going to be pretty expensive moving forward to upgrade, so we got to make sure that we're making each run count. Hopefully coming back with at least 30 rubber next time to be able to continue to plug him up a little bit here. But again, we'll kind of see how we go. So we're going to start this fresh, clean run here. Again, we're on expert. The last time... Um, that we played was the first time that we've ever done expert and we made it through to our first elite game in act two Which was against the princesses and they laid a beating on us So we'll see if we can make it there if we can pass there this one. Hopefully we can I wasn't too confident in how we built um, Our team last time a couple of random stats kind of um, Missed a few opportunities on some talents So we'll see if we can kind of correct the ship here and and see if we can kind of spring a little further in here. So, again, as you can see here, we have the option for a Tomahawk, Head Smasher, or Spinorama. Had a good little conversation in uh, comments on one of our other videos about Spinorama and potentially having it a little bit more viable as an option than I thought. I actually did not read this enough. I've always just kind of used it as a way to kind of deke really quickly. Um, but obviously if you do a little bit more reading here, it's saying that you're immune to contact and poke checks. So again, I guess kind of using it as a way to dash to the front of the net as you're kind of um, just trying to get position and trying to go through the slot there. If you're invulnerable basically to contact, that's actually more useful than I was in using it initially. I was kind of just basically using it as dash but um, kind of a way to spin instead. It was basically dash with a spin ability. So like a different like kind of spin animation is how I was using it. Um, again though, uh, having the opportunity for a double homo tomahawk for me is, is too good to pass up at this point. If it was spinorama and something else in here, maybe the yo-yo, I would give the spin a go again, but uh, it's failed me too many times. Um, or I'm just not honestly good enough with it yet. I'm gonna double up on Tomahawk here. So we'll pick this one We have the option again for Rory Clementine and Calvin But Calvin's been a no-go since the be beginning for us here. So we spent the 50 rubber on Clementine We're gonna go we're gonna give her a chance here So between her and Angus, we're gonna have a double Tomahawk. She's got a couple extra sticks, which is awesome our bench warmers, we've never used Buster Brewster. He seems to be awesome. Very, very balanced. Probably the most that I've seen. And like generally some pretty decent high stats. Got a cool helmet too. Not sure if he's drinking the uh, sprickles that uh, this game kind of uses to imitate Sprite or what. But uh, we'll see how he goes. I don't know. We got our homie here, Mark Bench. He must be our winger, I'm imagining. But again, if we can go through and swap through our lineup, what we might do is put uh, Buster as our winger. As much as I love Mark Bench, and he's come in clutch a lot of times for us, we've never had the option to use Buster Brewster, so that might be kind of a first kind of starting point with this. You guys know how much I love Ink Bottle. I'm gonna stop um, explaining kind of like these artifacts and stuff just because I feel like we're getting into the time where we've started to see a lot of these kind of come up and whatever I'll always kind of explain why I think it's a good um, choice to kind of pick with what I'm using currently or like why I'm gonna choose it but in terms of kind of explaining um, what it actually does I'm gonna start getting away from that just so we can keep kind of chugging along in these episodes here and keep things somewhat relatively uh, 
fresh, but anyways, so we're gonna start off with Ink Bottle again just because I love being able to get three people a random defensive talent off the bat. Any sort of talent that you guys can pick up, especially if you can basically just spend one kind of artifact point here and have it pick up for a couple of different people, that's super helpful, so. We're going to quickly pop into our team lineup and just see the stats that we got here on our defensive people. Oh, as you can see, it already put Buster Brewster as our winger, so that's one less thing that we're going to have to do. I'm actually very surprised that by how balanced and stuff he seems, that he's only one overall higher than uh, Carlos Chico's here, but not too, too bad. You can see Carlos Chico's, he has his lowest status checking, which is 18, but the talent is home wrecker, and he's going to get an additional 30 checking, so obviously it doesn't show up on the actual attributes itself but he essentially has a 48 checking and he's also going to automatically seek to hit players in the defensive zone that's super helpful for a defender we have intimidator on mark bench which is going to lower the opposing people's um, shot accuracy i don't remember if it's power too but either way it's going to get in the um start affecting the opposing player's shots and we have home wrecker on buster brewster too not the most helpful. Again, it's one of those things where we might end up swapping Mark Bench if we can get some speed on him. Just because of the talent, we can probably put Home Wrecker on uh, or, or make Buster Brewster our defender instead. Again, with the ability to swap players in and out of the lineup or switch their positions anyway. So we'll have to kind of see how um, that kind of works. At the same time, though, Intimidator is super helpful on a defender because if it's going to get into and affect the shots of the opposing um, team when they're kind of in tight to our net there that's going to be super helpful so pop into this challenge game against the spartans hopefully pick up a talent here i believe our first ever challenge game on expert um, last time we were not able to get a talent so if we could start out with a talent that would be super helpful for our playthrough that we're going to hopefully be able to uh, get a little bit of longevity out of but we'll see ultimately how we go here couldn't have chalked that one up any better. Get a quick one, quick one from Clementine here. Four seconds into the game and just quickly skate through this. Hopefully get an awesome talent in the, along the way here. Only three rubber, I'm not quite sure why. I thought it was four, but maybe not on um, expert, but. Okay, so with this, we've used all of these before. Um, I think the one that makes the most sense, I didn't notice much of a, of a difference with offensive body check. We're going to do x-ray shot just because I want the ability to have my shots not blocked by people who are going to be shooting for me. I think we're probably going to be shooting the most with Clementine McShaggy, so we'll go ahead, add x-ray shots to her. Obviously with Rory, he comes kind of preloaded with uh, x-ray shots, so I mean that's always super helpful. Um, but if we can throw it on Clementine right now, obviously not having Rory as an option, we can kind of basically counteract that. We have the option here for a camp or we have the event. I like the idea of kind of going balls to the wall right now, see if we can plug up on talents here. Even if it's going to mean we might get something negative here, we'll see what we get. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so we have had this before. Angus is suddenly overwhelmed by nostalgia, fondly remembers his glory days as a goaltender. Decides to bring back his old goalie mask. Now he's confident in his ability to block any puck or stick that comes his way. That's going to be super helpful because he's basically going to be invulnerable if I kind of put it together correctly in my head. That he's not going to be able to be tomahawked, which is awesome. Or fury stick or anything like that, which is sweet. And if he's going to be blocking shots, that's awesome. I don't know if it still knocks him down if he's blocking shots, but we'll kind of see how that goes. All of a sudden, if we can get, a, get an early pump on Angus like that and he's hard to take down, it could be super awesome for us to just kind of plugging him up with uh, talents and abilities here. So we'll see how that goes. We're obviously in our first elite game here against the Meatballs. Usually do pretty well against these guys, except our main guy, number nine here, Adam Gravy, loves cherry picking even still. We don't usually get them as a first elite game, so that's pretty interesting. I wonder if we'll be playing Greasy Lettuce as our second one. Screwed up that rebound opportunity. It was coming out to Angus. Ooh, Adam Gravy with the dirty cherry pick. Got really lucky that we were able to scoop that rebound there because he had a couple of really good chances at the beginning. Nice little shot from Clementine there. Our masked man. Angus coming in clutch. Oh, <laughs> nice little deflection. You can see our purple helmeted Mark Bench. I remember him from his amazing winger days, but... 
Still getting the job done as a defender. Nice little point shot here. Banged in off of uh, Angus. Probably would have been some goaltender interference if this was an EA game, but it's not, so we'll take it. Another quick one from Angus McShaggy. This guy, doesn't matter if he's rocking a cage, he can see as good, if not better, than he did before. All over the ice here, getting the job done nice and early. The way this is going right now, it does not feel like expert. I know for sure it is, because uh, I remember seeing it in our menu and I never took it off expert, but compared to our last time, I don't know if I'm more awake or what, but it definitely uh, feels way better than it did before. And we started last time with Fossilized Star, and honestly, I love that one. Gives everybody 20 speed. Ooh, God, that was a bad pass. They're gonna start making me look silly here now. Here we go, Mark Bench, Purple Helmet. Let's go, bud. Spring Clementine. Coming back to Angus. Good shot. Good shot. We just kind of surrounded the goalie there and didn't really give him a chance. We had a player on either side. I don't know how the puck actually got through to either one of our players, let alone how we were able to get a shot through the goalie's pads. But again, 3 0 in the first period. On expert, we'll take it. Clementine was obviously kind of locked in that uh, slap shot animation there. Here we go again. Adam Gravy, the cherry picking guy up here. Here's Buster. Oh, I missed that Tomahawk. I'm starting to realize now that uh, Tomahawk might not be as viable. I don't even want to say that. It's definitely a viable option, but I'm realizing that I'm using it less and less. I'm kind of more so figuring out how to get myself into better offensive positions. So I'm starting to think that maybe spin and dash, anything that's going to get us a little bit more space as opposed to like a defensive reach, especially as we continue to pump Angus' speed um, and if we can focus on team speed. Don't get me wrong, like this definitely, Tomahawk does definitely help in a pinch, but you probably don't need more than one on a team at this point. Like I love the idea. Ooh, very good shot. Adam Gravy, that guy cherry picking like a king. But uh, yeah, Tomahawk, I'm starting to realize that maybe we don't need to double stack. As much as I love throwing sticks all over the ice, um, it does definitely help having a dash or a spin to be able to get you like an additional little speed boost there. Again, too, with spin making you invulnerable to checks and, um, and stick pokes, that's very, very sweet. Debating if I actually should have tried that just to kind of see, knowing what I know now. But, oh, that sucks. Doesn't help when you uh, can't hit a tomahawk. All of a sudden, I'm trying to use it, and now I'm just kind of using it to use it, and it's burning. <laughs> I like that one, though. Angus McShaggy with the hat trick and a double tomahawk there. I mean, that was after the whistle. That would get you beat up in, uh, in playoffs, but... Again, that's the nature of tape to tape here. Just a wrecking crew. Angus wanted a fourth there, you could tell. I hate when the goalie comes out to play. I waited too long to pass that. Got into the feet of the defender. Here we go. Come on, Clementine, prove your worth. Not today. First good shot, though. Adam Gravy again. That was another good shot by the cherry picker. I could never get Cherry Picker to work that well. I don't know if anybody else has, but I found like every time he was just always at the blue line and just very flat-footed. Whereas every time Adam Gravy gets the puck, the guy is still just kind of chilling towards our goalie and he's always free and clear of like every defender that I have. I don't know if it's just because how I play, I pull my entire team up, but. Come on, Mark Bench. Here we go, here we go. Was almost the catalyst on that play too. Hit Adam Gravy with the tomahawk in the back of the knee there. Tomahawk not doing any damage to these guys, just giving them a nice little warm nudge. Clementine out here getting aggressive with the stick. Okay, so we were close to mercying the meatballs, but we still ended up with a clutch 4-1 win. First elite game in Act 1 here, getting five rubber to bring home. 24 to 15 for shots. You guys already know, I have not used Stinky or Berserk because neither of them really make sense to me a whole lot. Um, 
I don't really like the idea of either of those. Stinky actually could be beneficial if I understand it correctly on, like, I mean, on, like, maybe Angus or what, or something. Somebody who you're going to be in the zone a bit more with, because, again, if it's going to essentially make you invulnerable to checks, which I don't know if that's actually what it means, but... Again, I love the idea of random skill because it's going to give us the opportunity to add a skill to somebody who doesn't have one very clearly. We only have our superstars right now with a skill. So let's go ahead. We'll get our other winger a skill here. So Mr. Brewster, I don't remember what his first name is, but uh, Billy maybe? Buster. Yeah, sure. So he's got random um, random skill. So at the beginning of every game, he's going to have a random uh, random skill or talent or ability here. So that's going to open up some functionality. Maybe we'll get some Spanorama that we can make use of with him. Um, again here, we can go the event route or we can go challenge. Let's try event since we're on this random kick this time here. Electrolyte Emporium, very cool. So up to this point, I think this is the third time now that I've got this event and I always choose Aromatic because in my head, I don't know if it actually works this way, but 10 overall in the first period. This is going to apply to essentially every game we play because even the challenge games are only a one period game that never actually ends versus two period games are elite games only. Um, that would also be inclusive of challenge games. Uh, it would not be inclusive of challenge games because you never actually make it to a second period. And then obviously third period games are elite games only, or sorry, boss games only. So super beneficial to have 25 overall. Honestly, maybe. I don't know. I feel like I still get hung up right now enough on elite games. So maybe in the second period. So essentially the final period of those elite games, having a 15 overall would be super helpful. Um, again, in kind of times past, I've always just gone with Aromatic because the 10 overall is going to consistently apply versus this Oki one isn't going to apply to challenge games because it's only ever one period. Elite games obviously has two periods in it. So we'll go ahead and we'll try something a little different here. We're going to go Oki because this will apply in elite and boss games and it's going to give us a slightly higher overall. And that's going to be applied to all of our players here. So our last two um, events here haven't hurt us at all. We'll see if it actually helps, but they definitely don't hurt. We're going to pop into our second elite game here against the Greasy Lettuce. Definitely feel like this is one that we don't end up playing all that often. We don't typically see Greasy Lettuce. It's usually Top Cheese and Meatballs. So special occasion here. See if we can take these guys to school. Not really familiar with their players, but um, I do know that I'm pretty sure they have the uh, Puck Propel or for passes and stuff you can see once they complete passes they get a little bit of a speed boost which is an awesome ability when you can use it i hate it when they have it but nothing like getting a little bit of a speed boost there get out of my way calvin all of a sudden i took away uh, the goalie's pass um pass option there so he decided to hold on to it probably not a bad option for them anyway since i still can't seem to win a face off so we have Head Smasher here on Brewster. That's something that I still haven't really used yet. It always ends up like not actually deflecting. It just takes people out. But like to do that, you're giving up possession of the puck. So I don't really see why that's helpful. I'm sure it is. I'm just using it wrong. But at this point, it is what it is. You can see I took out another couple of people there in front of the net. But if you're not able to get the rebound back, I'm not really sure what the point is. There is another one that kind of more accurately uses people's faces to deflect, which is really cool. Um, and I can see why that would be awesome. But as of right now, Head Smasher, I'm not sure why it's that good. Had a really good couple of rebounds there. Obviously, all of our uh, forwards are up in the play there to be able to get that one in. We'd like to see that. Angus here, the madman with the mask, came to play so far in this run. Nice little dish out by the goalie there, but Angus just could not get possession somehow, even though he was standing in the puck. But... We have a 1-0 lead, so we don't really care. As soon as we pop into the second period here, all of our guys are going to get a boost. So if we can just kind of hold this one out, we're in a pretty good position to be able to win this one. Again, last time we played this game, we were um, into the second act, so hoping at the very least that we make it as far as we did last time. That tomahawk went flying. I don't know how it came bouncing off the boards. Unless that was one of their sticks, I'm not sure. I didn't think they tomahawk. That did not go where that was supposed to. Obviously, you can see my defender here is locked up in the slap shot again. But that was supposed to go to Angus, and it just completely overshot everything. Clementine's locked up in a slapper here. Didn't make it. Take a tomahawk for your effort. Took out the wrong guy, but it still take 
took uh, Calvin Dore to his knees. So we're going into the second period here. Shot 7-5 for us, 1-0 lead. We're going to get our overall 15 boost here to each one of our players, which should be super helpful at helping us lock this one down. You can see Clementine got locked again in slap shot. I'm not sure how I'm putting myself in that. I don't know if I'm just clicking X too many times or what, but that's something that I never feel like until recently and never really happened. Maybe it's just something that I didn't really notice, but not helpful having your players locked in that, and I'm not really sure. Even in like clicking X more, it doesn't pull them out of that. I'm not sure if you can cancel it, but. Come here, Clem. Clementine hasn't been doing too, too much for us recently. Honestly, it's pretty much been all about uh, Angus. So we'll see. Even uh, our boy Billy Brewster, or whatever his name is, Bruce the Goose, I don't know. Has not been doing too, too much. It really has been the Angus show, which is kind of nice, because it's been a little while since he's been as involved as he has been. Maybe it's the mask that's turning into an, turning him into an animal. Got our uh, overall boost here, but it's not really doing too, too much for us so far. Had a good couple of chances at the beginning of this period, but obviously few and far between ever since. Goalie screwed us there. Just keep passing into everybody's legs. I'm not doing myself any favors at this point. Now Angus doesn't have a stick. He's gonna go to Tawad goalie. Really wanted him to play that. Nice to win that face off. Angus did some damage there in that guy's legs. Not sure what shot that was. Definitely no angle. That goalie pissed me off. Coming out to play the puck and then decides to retreat and go back into the net. A winger here in the middle stopped skating. Did not want that pass. I'm trying to take away the middle of the net here. You can hear their uh, propulsion on passes there just kind of amping up a little bit. Come here, Clem. Good shot. Nothing on it, though. That was a pretty crappy game. one nothing. It's a win. We're going to take it. Do what we got to do to kind of scrape by here. I was definitely hoping for kind of a, a more dominating win there. But, again coming home with some rubber we got a minimum at the very minimum in this run I want to come back with 30 so we will see this one here is very interesting because goalie dance the last time we played with it I didn't see that it did all that much referee rumble super helpful if the referee is down to have um, your whole team having a 20 overall but I don't feel like the referee is down all that often we're going to go with briefcase. We've only ever used it once before, but what it does is call a goal back. So they could be clutch in a game where we are losing or, um, uh, the, yeah, just if we're losing or just an inopportune goal. The, the toughest part is knowing when to use it because you basically have to use it very shortly after they score a goal. You can't just randomly pick when you want to have something called back here. So since we're on a talent binge, we're going to skip the camp again. We're going to go ahead to this challenge game and see if we can come away with something. Hopefully we can. We'll double check and see what um, Brewster's skill is on this one now because obviously he had head smasher before and that was no big deal. He's got head smasher again, so that's not going to be too, too helpful here. I was hoping that he was going to have maybe a dash or a spin. It looks like, too, it only cycles a between skills that you actually have unlocked right now. I have not seen anything higher than um, like Spinorama or Dash. I have not seen, which I think it would be really cool. Like, I mean, if you had the opportunity to kind of experiment with Grappling Hook or Magnet or Dragon Shout or any of these really expensive skills, it would be a nice way for you to have the option to kind of test them before you, before you buy them, especially since like the Dragon Shout is like 200 rubber. So I feel like with something like this, it should cycle between all available skills as opposed to just ones that you have unlocked as a way for you to kind of test because it does still take some some um, investment from you in a playthrough to put random skill on one of your players. But either way here, we're going to get a couple of good options. So we have Triple Twig again in hindsight. This might be really, really good to have against if we were to make it to the Cup Cultists match here because, again, we know how much I like to slap shot and they use greasy sticks. So as soon as they, as soon as soon we use a slap shot, it's going to basically throw our stick forward. And we also have double tomahawk on here. Clementine already obviously has this, so it's going to give her a couple of extra sticks on her back. We could give this to Angus, which would be super helpful. 
but again, I don't feel like I'm using Tomahawk all that often, so maybe Rocket Skates would be a little bit more beneficial. Retro Rocket is sweet too because there's really no downfall to this. It's just I never skate backward enough to make use of this. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to use Rocket Skates. It's going to give us that same 50 speed boost, but we are going to lose some agility here. What I think we're going to want to do is just because... Ooh, I don't know, actually. I don't know. Maybe I think we give this to our slowest person right now, and we're going to put it on Mark Bench. We know he's a clutch winger, so if all of a sudden he can go from D up into a forward position, every once in a while he could be a kind of uh, a game changer here, a little X factor. We'll have to see how that kind of plays into it, but we're going to go ahead and give him some rocket skates, and we are, just like that, into our first boss game of this run. The end of Act 1 against the officials. We know how these guys are. We have to remember also that we have the briefcase puck. I'm hoping to not have to use that against the officials because they aren't all that difficult if I can just kind of play how I'm supposed to play. I'd ideally like to be able to use that at the very least against the Crusaders or Princess. Ideally it would be a Cup Cultists kind of thing that we use it for. Um, but we'll have to see. Again, I want to be able to make it farther than we have so far in Expert, and it might take using that a little earlier than we want, but we will see. I'm really hoping, though, that we don't have to use it against the officials. You can see here that we have Spinorama. Nice little play, but again, I didn't use it until I was already open, so I'm not really making the best use of that based on kind of what I know of it now. Clementine's stick fell short. On the tomahawk there, did not get the ref where we needed him. It's a far slap. You can see we got Mark Bench here. This guy's quick. Goalie came out to play it again and then just kind of screwed off into the net, which was annoying. Come on, bud. Ice. We ice the puck here, so we're going to take the uh, face off down in our zone. Only happens in the match against the officials because they love calling icing. We got a bunch of stuff going on in this. I don't even know what's happening. There's just a Royal Rumble pileup. Everybody's getting checked right now. I don't know what's happening. Like, I have no control over my people. Everybody just keeps getting caught in like a checking animation. That stick came bouncing out of nowhere and just flattened everybody. I don't know who's hitting who, but this is ridiculous right now. There's checks everywhere and just nothing happening. Good hit by Angus. Not enough to get these officials though. So I don't know if they were working out in the off season or what because uh, they are tough. Like they aren't taking damage. That was a, like, oh God. Our goalie had an amazing check to save that goal. There's no way that was not gonna go in. See if we can do something here. We haven't been able to get any ice on the officials here. Angus with a good tomahawk. Nice one there. Nice other rebound. Nice to get a couple of chances late in the period here because honestly this game has not really been going anyone's, anybody's way, but uh, definitely not our way. Get a nice quick one there from Angus. I say quick, it wasn't. It's gonna come back. We already know that. We'll get this one off the board here, no problem. We've got another two periods to play, so it's nice to not be chasing that first goal anyways. We gotta make our second period count. Again, obviously, that's where we get our overall boost, so we have to make use of that one here. Hopefully not be down one going into that second period, and I spoke too soon. We have the option right now to cancel the goal. Now we don't. I don't wanna cancel that one because I don't feel still all that bad against the officials. If they end up getting a second quick one on us here, though, I might have to rethink that because I'm not sure. Okay, goalie. Not sure if we're gonna be able to I don't know. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how we go. One period of three down. Shots are very close. Time on attack. I don't even want to look at it. It wasn't close at all. That was just a jumble of a period here. So obviously with our second period in front of us, this is where we're going to get our overall boost. So hopefully our team can kind of show up and play this one. Again, I don't know. That pass did not connect. Don't know where that puck went. Somehow it bounced up over... The glass there, halted in play. My guys are just spinning right now. Get some friendly fire on that stick. Here we go, come spin me. 
So it was supposed to make me invulnerable to check, but it looked like to me that I still lost control of that puck. Maybe it was at the tail end of my spin, so that doesn't really help. Anyways, I should have tried it sooner, I'm not sure. These officials have me in deep this time. Angus, let's go. Okay, here we go. Got some speed there. We were able to connect on that one nicely. It's nice to be tied at the early stages of the second here. Good tomahawk from Clementine. I used the skate backward button to kind of help me line that one up a little bit, so that, that helped for some additional focus there. Able to knock that ref down. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Keep just passing it into these guys' legs. Oh, God. Missed that stick. Oh, what was that? Why was that a, why is that face off? I mean, it's fine because they had possession of it, but here we go, come on. Our winger has not been as clutch as I've wanted him to be so far. Mind you though, again, like our entire team is just not playing well, AKA me. But our uh, winger has not helped really get us out of those pinches. Not like our boy Mark Bench has. Again, that one was a slow bounce and then all of a sudden the puck just kind of fades. I don't know what happened there. It's the second time I feel like happened. I didn't think it was up and over, but clearly it was. Some weird things happening, I feel like, in this one. I just keep hearing the checking animation. Oh, ho, ho. fooled the goalie there. Good sacrifice by their... Uh, by their player to block the first shot, but you can see it very clearly screwed their goalie up here. Nice one, just gonna watch this one because I like to see refs getting hurt. No, I don't, that's not fun. But in this game, it's super nice. After they've been pumping you a little bit here, it's nice to kind of get one on them. Throw a tomahawk again. I missed probably all of them. Yeah, deserved to get scored on there. I got really lucky that the goalie decided that wasn't gonna happen. a spin here just to kind of give me a little bit more space. Little shot from Clementine. Not really anything all that threatening. Not playing convincing in this game at all. Not at all. Close 2-1. They could have very easily had that one too. Nice little chance. So you can see we got a little bit of invulnerability there. Finally our winger comes in clutch but you can see we had a little bit of invulnerability there and then as soon as I popped out of that spin animation they were able to check it off my stick but we were able to get to kind of the front of the net with that with that spin move so that was helpful because obviously he was there as soon as we were able to get the puck back. That would have been another deadly giveaway. My goalie was out of the net and again I cannot complete a pass to save my life right now so we're in tight this one, but up 3-1 going into the third. Stand an okay chance to win this game and did not need, wow. And did not need to use our briefcase so far, so that's good. Come here, Brew. We got their whole team piled up on me on the side here. Nice little redirect there from Angus. Let's see what Chico's got. Take away the empty side of the net here. We got that into some legs. There we go, do some damage on that. Come on, Clem. Nice shot, I should've went other side though. Oh man, I gotta chill out with these Tomahawks. They're gonna sink me more than they're helping at this point. Spin, spin, spin. Couldn't get around the guy. Really wanted to be able to flick it over to Clementine. That one, I don't, it didn't take him out, but it looked like it might have pulled the puck off the stick there, which was helpful, I guess. Go in here and spin again. That was cool. We almost went short side on the goalie with the spin move. Almost opened up enough, almost opened up enough space, but not quite. There we go. Always nice when the tomahawk actually lands and flattens. Like it's frustrating to miss a tomahawk, but it's almost more frustrating when you hit a tomahawk and it just does nothing. Especially when it actually doesn't register that you hit, but at the same time, like it's annoying when it does a little bump and then that's it because like I don't think there is a way it's not clear at least if you can bump up tomahawk 
I, I don't want to say damage, but essentially damage. Again, like I don't know if it's affected by checking. I don't know if it's just kind of random whether or not it takes people down. I don't know if the refs get stronger with the higher checking that they have because it's not like there's like a toughness attribute or anything. So, not really sure. But, oof. Okay, so because that goal was very, very close, they're going to call it close enough and uh, make it in, which is fine. We still have a couple of goal lead on these guys, and we're getting into the dying seconds of this game here, so not anything to really worry about, but still. Okay, I definitely thought we actually had a bigger lead. We don't. Makes sense, because I've been pure not good this game, or any of this run, I feel like, for the most part, so. We'll see if we can round this one out. If not, I'll probably call it back. I'm just, again, hoping to not have to use it. But, like, these tomahawks, I keep throwing these sticks and saying that I shouldn't be throwing them, but, like, I want to make use of these abilities while I have them. Here we go, spin, spin, spin. Oh, okay, a little bit of finesse. Buster Brewster. Powered by Sprinkles there. Angus with a dirty check. Going to be suspended, probably. Come on, goalie, settle down, bud. Yeah, there we go, after the buzzer. So we're gonna take a 4-2 win. We're going back to Act 2, so I'm pretty confident in my ability, at least on Expert right now, to be able to make it through Act 1. Um, I don't like any of these. Hmm. I don't like any of these. But I think what we're going to do is do shrink just to get speed. I just don't know if there's adverse effects, though, from shrinking. Greasy stick is somewhat appealing, too. But I don't know how much opponents slap. I know there is one team that slaps a lot, but like, I don't think anybody slaps like I do. So that's awesome. But at the same time, I think we're going to shoot for the speed. I just don't know if there's adverse effects on shrink serum. But we're going to go ahead and try it just because this... Run has kind of turned into a little bit of an RNG um, fest here. Again, we're confronted with either a challenge game or an event at the beginning of Act 2, I think, because events have seemingly worked out <laughs> somehow so far. We're going to keep rolling the dice here and just see what we get. So what do we get here? Angus and Clementine McShaggy stumble upon a series of futuristic pods. Intrigued, they open a mini... They open one of the pods and are surprised to find a mini Clementine McShake. You jump out of the pod. Which player are you going to sacrifice for this clone? Okay. We don't know. If, if it's an exact duplicate, that's amazing. I don't know what the stats are going to be like on this. So I think it probably makes the most sense to at least just swap out our worst player. Which is going to be Mark Bench. We're going to lose his speed ability, though, so I don't know if that makes the most sense. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do it anyways. We're going to switch out Mark Bench. Love this guy, but we're going to switch him out and see how that goes. Okay, so overall is lower. Accuracy is horrible. But it is actually a copy of what we have on Clementine right now, minus the attributes. So you can see she's way smaller. Obviously, that's what they were saying. She's going to be a mini version or a small version or whatever, however they phrase that. Um, and the attributes are considerably lower. The accuracy is piss poor. It's very bad. But we have three Tomahawks now on this team. Guaranteed three Tomahawks now on this team. So we're going to have, just like that, we have four players with abilities because we do still have random skill on Buster Brewster, which is awesome. We don't have a choice but to take camp here. We can either go eight speed to all players or three overall. Speed is going to be super helpful for everybody. I really want to get Clementine McShaggy's accuracy up because she's no real use to us here. But as long as we're not shooting with her, if we can just use her as intended as a defender, then it's not as big a deal really. Um, everybody else, they don't have great accuracy, but at the same time, speed, I feel like is super, super important. I don't know if we would need to go for speed again, but if we can get everybody eight here, that could help tremendously. So we'll go ahead, train eight for speed, and we are going to go against the Crusaders as our first elite game. So we have not played Crusaders on Expert. This will be very interesting. 
I'm not sure if this is going to be better or worse than the Princess team. I used to, like, dread the Crusaders over Princess, but the Princess have taken us into um, double OT quite a few times. They've actually been some of our longer games. You can see here, I think our entire team has shrunk. I know we did that, like, shrink, um, that shrink artifact, but uh, I've never actually noticed the shrinkage before. Good word. But, uh, yeah, I've never actually really noticed. Maybe it didn't count. I don't know. It's hard to tell because these knights are generally bigger anyways, I feel like. Obviously, our uh, Clementine clone is considerably smaller too. But, like, I feel like our other guys are small. Except for maybe Angus. Hard to tell. But, uh, oh, we can't get in the way. I'm going to cancel that one. Just because I can. And I don't want to get to the point where it's too far past the point of return that it doesn't make sense to use but as you can see like i mean as long as we can eliminate the prince it's not a big deal but with the knights being able to check as frequently as they do they just plug up so much of the ice in front of the prince that he's able to just come in and get so much time here we go again that extra tomahawk from mini mini clementine there was super beneficial because again Without being able to make it to the prince to check him, Tomahawk is a very good option. Three checks there to kill that knight. Oh, bad pass. Bad pass. That bounced off our back. That whole play was janky. The goalie, I don't know why he came out to play it, because we would have had it, but that pass was just not good. Not good at all. That tomahawk the prince. I don't know how everybody threw a tomahawk there. I did want one. Oh my god. I keep getting trigger happy and before I realize I have the puck, I'm already trying to pass. We got a really lucky shot block there as we were already standing in where they were trying to go. Tomahawk there because the computers on my team don't like to check. So we'll just tomahawk for right now. Make sure that we got space against the prince. It's a good thing that we're going into the second period where we're again we're again gonna get that second um, second period overall boost. Got a nice little deflection there from Clementine McShaggy. Apparently, a person with five accuracy is still able to score goals, which is a nice thing to see. Don't know how she got it because she ripped from pretty far away. I definitely thought it went off somebody. Maybe it went off one of their people. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll take it. Nice shot again. I guess that wasn't five accuracy there, but I think that was the real Clementine. 0.8 seconds. Just hang on to this one here. Take this one into the second period. We're gonna again get our overall boost here of 15. Let's see how we go. Tied 1-1, one, one. obviously really lucky that we were able to take that goal back we'll see hopefully it gets us the win but we'll see how we go come on my guy let's go went too far over i gotta stop double clicking x i think that's what's putting me in the um in that slap shot animation because i don't want to slap i'd be fine just kind of completing the one timer on like a wrist shot Got lucky there. I went to go check, and uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to line that up, so Tomahawk saved me there. You can see the Tomahawk is coming in pretty clutch for this for this uh, game against the Crusaders, which, oh, got a really good chance. Yeah, I don't know. Head Smasher, it's, it's cool because, like, you're basically guaranteed to knock the other team out on the shot, but, like, I just don't see why for an offensive ability that it's all that helpful because like very seldom are you able to get the get control of the puck again after you make that shot buried they killed us there what is that 2-1 now 2-2 two, 2-1 two, two, we got a minute left we still have our overall bonus here but it's not going well oh with that goalie being able to deflect those shots on us he is doing big time damage. Chico's with a big hit on the knight or the prince or whatever. They're just gonna bury us now. Couldn't really uh, do too much there. Not a good game by any stretch. 
had some really bad plays. These guys are just going to start shelling us now here. See what we can do. We played worse in the second than we did in the first, I think. And we have our overall bonus, which is really annoying. 18 seconds. Need a miracle here. Yeah, not going to happen on that one. Missed that. Missed that. Oh, this was a brutal one, guys. This was a brutal one. Crusaders, all of a sudden, it's not even the Prince who's pouring this on. It is, uh, it's the Knights coming in clutch. It's the Knights coming in and clutching that one for, uh, for the Crusaders. So, that one hurts, but at the same time, again, like, we weren't able to make it, um, any further than we did last time. In fact, we actually made it to the exact same spot. Mind you, it wasn't the Princess team that eliminated us. It was the Crusaders this time. Nice to be able to play them on Expert and get a little bit of an idea of how complicated they're going to be. Um, I think we got time to make another run at it. We'll see how long this one's going to actually end up being. We were able to get just enough to be able to get another upgrade here. So let's go ahead for Angus and give him some additional shot power. Expensive. For only four attributes here but it gets even more expensive for even less so we're gonna just try and continue to round him out a little bit as you can see his numbers are pretty good we got 59 58 double 56 so it's not too bad i'm gonna continue pumping him now but let's see what we can get now as our second superstar here i'm very curious to see kind of what we're going to be able to roll so we remember now we're picking an, a, an ability for um for angus we have the option for Spinorama, but again, I've really been liking Dash as of late, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of go against what I was saying before and picking Spinorama again if I had the opportunity for it. But again, if I have it compared to Dash, if this was Tomahawk, I'd be taking Spinorama just to kind of start getting used to that. But because it's Dash, I'm going to go ahead and I've really appreciated the little speed bursts here. With this one, again, I'm going to pick Clementine just to keep that Tomahawk ability on the team right now. Honestly, we could go spin Arama and have Kelly Jelly. She's got really good speed and really good accuracy, but shot power and checking, I don't know. Unless, you know what, we just blow up completely what we've been doing and maybe start trying to build something a little different for Expert. Again, we didn't really find that we were using Tomahawk a whole heck of a lot last time, and when I was, it wasn't really putting me in a very good position. So you know what? Maybe we do just kind of blow up what we've been doing and take Kelly Jelly. So we'll give it a go. Let's give it a go. We're going to go dash and spin on our team, which is something completely different than we've been doing last time, or the last couple of times anyways. Obviously, you can see we've got two of the new bench warmers here in Buster Brewster and Stu Stumple. Um, they have pretty good stats, but their red stats are pretty bad. Buster Brewster with a two-shot power. We have 20 accuracy, which can get the job done still on Stu Stumple. And then 12 um, speed on Stevie Louder is probably the most concerning. But the, round, the other stats that these three have are actually pretty decent. Got some high numbers. Obviously, we got a 53 checking as a standout on Stu Stumple. 46 um, checking on Brewster there is is pretty standout. So we have very checking oriented um, bench warmer group, which is interesting because our superstars are not that at all. But again, if I have the opportunity to start tweaking speed at the very beginning, 100% I'm going to do it. This is only applied to our bench warmers. This does not affect our superstars. But our superstars are already probably nearing. I think Angus is again close to 60 speed obviously kelly jelly is up in the 80s so it's not that big a deal for them but we do want to get our bench warmers involved in the play they have good checking so let's round them out a little bit here as hard as that is to pass up on odd fungus because i do really appreciate when you are able to connect to the pass here um to spring your players let's just start rounding out the team and kind of go more attribute based this time because talent didn't really work out that well for us last time that and i was playing like an idiot but uh, we'll see how we go here. Challenge game first against the Spartans. I can already tell you, no matter how this game goes, how, hopefully we get a talent here, but no matter how this game goes, we're going to the camp and just going to start rounding out our attributes. I'm not going to mess around with the event again. Even though none of them really burned us, it actually was more helpful than anything. I uh, want to build out a little bit different of a team than we did last time. Get a dash on Angus. Good shot. I thought I had a lot more space. But the goalie was just able to capitalize on that a little bit. Kind of take this away. 
check the guy in front of the net here. Come on, Kelly. Invulnerable there. No real shot power, so it'll be nice to get her some shot power. She's got amazing accuracy, but again, no shot power. So she's basically really only going to be good for wrist shots right now, and even still, barely. But um, hoping that that spinorama is going to help us more than um, her attributes are going to hurt. But we'll see how we go. Angus with the dash gets in and around their defenders. Nice little backhand, and we get the rebound. Stu Stumple. You can see our favorite bandage, Bandit Winger, is back at it. I think he's playing wing. He's in a wing position there. So I can assume. Unless it was a defender up in the play, but you never know. Get a couple of rubber here. Likely, unless we make it far into Act 2, we probably aren't going to get anything that we're going to be able to use bringing back on this on this playthrough, but we'll see. Your shots always rebound off the goalie. Okay. I don't know, actually, if we've ever seen this. I like this. Charge shot is awesome, too, if we're going to be slap shotting. But again, I'm trying to get out of that animation where we're locked into the slap shot. And I don't know if that basically makes it that each one of those is that. Let's go ahead and do Bouncy McBounce. Right now, if we can't score with Kelly Jelly, it wouldn't be the end of the world that she's getting rebounds because hopefully Angus is up there with her and she can just kind of pop them out. So we're going to put Bouncy McBounce on Kelly Jelly. See if that helps. Again, I don't think that's one that we've ever seen. I really don't think that it's one that we've played with. Maybe you guys can correct me, but it seems new to me. We have the option right now to give eight checking to all players. Um, we don't need that. We have bench warmers that are very checking oriented right now. Angus obviously is holding his own at 58 checking. And Kelly does not need checking. I don't really care to have her check. Um, she can get whatever she gets from it in her overall. But we're going to go ahead and add three overall to all players right now. Pop into our first elite game in Act 1 against Top Cheese. Hopefully take these guys down relatively, relatively quickly. But we'll see how it goes pop into this one here. Nice little quick pass from Kelly Jelly. Spin, get us into the slot. Ooh. You can see, I forgot that that rebound was supposed to come out. Some weird things going on with the puck there along the on, along the, along the glass. It was just kind of stuck floating. But, uh, I don't want to be Kelly right now because she does not give us a very good option to check. Wish you could take the goalie out in this game just because there are seemingly no rules until you play the officials. It would be sweet to have that option. Just because we like the XFL of uh, hockey. Good little shot there. They got a couple of superstars on this team. They got Willie Bree and Cam Amber or something. Cam Amber. The cheese man. Ooh. Yeah, that's actually... Pretty nice to be able to spin off the defenders there and take it to the middle of the ice and not have you be checked. A little bash, a little shot from Angus. Take away Cam. Ooh, Willie Breeze there though. Good shot. Up off the bar over the glass. Another dash with Angus. Split these guys. Probably should have passed to. Kelly gets her shot at the very least. Oh god, I ended up checking my own guy. Her shot at the very least would have been a nice little rebound. Go to the bandit. Oh, bad pass into their legs. Good shot block. Come on. Keep plugging these rebounds. I went to spin, but I got poked as I started spinning, so it kind of negated that. Kelly Jelly again. Let's go. Very close. Goalie poke check me there. That was a really good poke check. No, no. Had a very good chance there, too. Kelly Jelly again. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Good shot. Oh, no. Two trigger happy again. I double aid. Not that that shot probably would have went in, but it would have been a lot better than having a pass back to our zone. You can see we're uh, pounding these guys 12 to 3 for shots. Getting our chances, but their goalie's been actually like pretty decent. I feel like we've had a couple of good chances. Not stellar, but you can see Top Cheese, they have that like uh, magnetic rebound perk that's super awesome. Hopefully with um, each of our shots when we shoot with Kelly Jelly because she has uh, that one perk um, to get rebounds on each of her shots. Hopefully we can get that uh, rebound perk as well. 
that uh, you're able to direct the rebounds also. That'd be a good little, good little perk stack there. But again, we will see. Spin, spin. Nice little wrister. Right into the pads though. Oh God. It'd be cool too if you could give your goalie some talents and abilities or if they were affected by things. Probably should have spun. I honestly forgot who I was really quickly. Oh, man. So these guys having like relatively high checks, they still don't seem to do like a whole lot of damage. I'm not expecting like the one and done, but good shot there, good shot there. Nice check there. Even Angus has almost 60 checking. He did not, is not taking these guys down. I know I'm running into their superstars right now, but 60 checking really isn't anything to scoff at. It's still not doing too, too much. Good, wicked slap shot by Angus. Time was running down. That's probably the longest I've ever taken to beat top teams or to score a goal against them for sure. Very surprised. I feel like we, uh, I feel like we played a, ooh. that one almost got away from me there in those dying seconds, but I feel like we outplayed them pretty well. It was just one of those games that we could not get anything by. They ended up actually getting a lot more shots than I would have expected for sure okay safety first isn't one that we see all that often um, it's a behavior it stays between his own net and the closest enemy skater let's put that on our highest checking defender who is that 56 just so happens that he's our fastest too I don't know if I like that Oh, that's a winger, even. Ooh, okay. We're gonna have to switch him. Okay. Right now, I think we're gonna put this, for no real rhyme or reason, we're gonna put it on, let's put it on Brewster. The guy's fast, he checks hard, doesn't really have a good shot power. He's got lower shot power and lower shot accuracy than Stevie Louder, so we're gonna go ahead and put it on Brewster for now. He's gonna stay between our net and the opposing player. That's pretty sweet. Hopefully that because he's quick enough and checks hard that he's able to take them out. That would be really helpful, especially since we aren't really using him as an offensive defenseman. I got to look though when we get back. I know I could have just checked there, but I do want to double check and see if it makes more sense to switch our winger and defenseman. Again, now that I know that that's an option, um, it might help round things out a little bit, but we will see. Dash. Ooh, rebound, but it went kind of in behind, that didn't help. Another pass right into the feet there. It's a good check from Brewster there. Flattened him. Like, these guys seem way weaker. Like, you can check them pretty easily. Makes sense because it's just a talent game and not an elite game. I don't think they have guys that actually use uh, superstar abilities, but again, no, if I have relatively high checking, I'm surprised that uh, I just wanted to make sure first that I took away his pass option. Ooh, Kelly Jelly there with a nice tip. Let's get ourselves a talent and get the hell out of here. Here we go. Still took 49 seconds. Not the fastest. Not the longest either. Snake three rubber out of there. Let's go. I don't typically use either of these two, so let's go rocket skates. We're going to add 50 speed and lose some agility, but who do we want that on? Our slowest guy here, Stevie Louder. Our team is actually pretty quick, considering. We have 50 speed, 55 speed. Obviously, Stevie Louder has 35 speed, but he's going to be up to 85, essentially. He's got really good shot power and accuracy. I'm going to switch him and Stumple for sure. 
Let's switch these guys. Thank you again to whoever told me. I believe it was Kooks who told me. I think I've actually had somebody else tell me too that we can go ahead and team swap, but that was uh, super beneficial to know because all of a sudden we have somebody now who's going to have 85 speed, 47 checking, 34 shot power, 42 accuracy as our wing. The guy started as defender, but uh, Stevie Louder is looking to do some damage up front. So hopefully we can get him there. Going against the Greasy Lettuce again. Okay. Elite game, second elite game in Act 1. Trying to rip through this playthrough really quickly. Trying to make it further than we have before into Act 2 on Expert. Let's see how we go here. Got to make up for yesterday's episode in not having one. So we're going to get a double header here. Let's see if we can... Oh, God. Oh, God. If you guys tuned out now, I don't blame you. That was bad. Not a good one. Come on, Stevie. Okay. There he goes, making a name for himself already. In all alone, his team did not want to help him at all. I have no idea where everybody was. Look at not a single person came up to bail him out. Nobody here. Nobody. A little late on the play, my guys. Two superstars not not doing uh, what they're getting paid to do. Kelly and Angus not doing a damn thing. Let's go. Get some fire in you, bud. Oh my god, bad pass. Oh! Ruin. Another bad pass. That was a good hit, though. Can't kill this guy, but that was a good hit to level three of them. Bad pass. Another bad pass. Oh, so bad. Good shoulder. Come on, Stevie. Kill Kelly. You bastard. Oh, God. Good spin. Come on, Kelly. Ooh. I didn't expect that one to go in. Again, like, we have very... Actually, the shot accuracy was good. I gotta remember it's shot power and not shot accuracy that's affected on Kelly Jelly here. Nice little flick. Very, very little angle, but the goalie uh, just kind of let that one in. Took it out on the player there. Love to see that. A little bit of goalie aggression. Taking this one 2-2. Gotta scoop that rebound. Because these the greasy lettuce are the ones that have the uh, rebound ability where it kicks out to their team. They also have the propel pass. I feel like this is the harder of the three elite teams that you face in Act 1. Um, again, not overly complicated. The fact that this is actually close right now is pretty sad. But um, I do feel like they are the harder of the three, at least based on kind of how I play, which is bad. Um, I do feel like they are the harder of the three, just because they play fast. But, and again, I really love that rebound ability. I wish you could get that more often. Nice job, Stevie. Good shot. Oh. Okay, lots of missed checks at the end of that period, but... They're out shooting us again, 17-13, so, man, I'm just not playing the way I need to to win these kind of games. Took away that uh, shooting lane, which is good because it probably would have been in too. They didn't shoot, they elected to pass instead. Come on, Kelly. Ooh, flat. Come on, goalie. Kelly again. To Stevie. Oh. Oh, no way. How did that take him out? I felt good about that, sorry. Oh, God. Come on, Kelly, steal that. Let's go. Oh, I thought I had it. Oh. Seem to be having some trouble in behind the net there with the puck these computers did. Okay, here we go, here we go. Kelly. 
for a little one shot power slap shot. Oh my god. Another bad pass. Into like dead feet. Come on, Angus. Captain this team, buddy. Nice. Very quick rebound. Went to nobody, but. Oh! The goalie, what are you doing? He's so far out. Oh, another good shot. Okay, trying to get the puck, got possession. Oh, big slap. Oh, off the bar. Dying seconds here. Flatten. Almost had a shot on that, they did. Oh, God. Oh, that one's gonna be on Sports Center. Okay, let's settle down, everybody. These lettuce heads, man, I'm telling you, these guys are good. A lot closer for shots there, but again, we're still trailing. Felt like we had a couple of good chances that time, at least compared to the first period, but again, like these, these passes are gonna bury me. Weird shot that somehow almost made it. It ended up getting kind of buried behind the net there, but good check. Come on. Stevie Ladder, game on his stick. Let's go! Ooh, opened up some ice there. I'm very surprised. Did pretty well for like a manual, uh, manual Deacon. Put it on my way. Angus, slappy. Never mind. Come on, Kelly. I feel like the goalies have been very good. No! No! I did not expect that. No! Oh, that's so bad. That is so bad. I haven't lost in the first act in I don't know how long. Oh, wow. The game was actually very close, considering. Time on attack, even passes, shots. We out hit, I probably pulled myself out of position quite a bit just to get those hits. They doubled our block shots, they had more interceptions, had more face-off wins. God, I can't believe we lost that one so early. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Today is not the day, guys. Today is not the day. I felt pretty good, honestly. Probably better about the second playthrough, and I actually did worse, which is not a good sign. Super stoked to have been able to, on our flirt, first playthrough, to make it through to Act 2, make it as far as we have before. No further, but again, having the kind of early round exit here in act one is kind of deflating i really wanted to see felt pretty good about taking this one farther than we ever have but it doesn't look like it's going to happen i don't want to add another run to this episode only because i don't think anybody's going to be all that interested in a two hour plus episode that's provided i make it past the first elite game in act one at this point who knows what the next playthrough looks like? We didn't come back with enough rubber to do anything, I don't believe. No, 12 isn't going to get us anywhere. We could pick up a superstar. Maybe I will just because. No, 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 no. I want to eventually get that, uh, get the achievement, but I think it probably makes the most sense to add to our superstar pool once we actually get through the game on Expert because, again, I want to have a little bit more control, and to do that... You have to have a smaller superstar pool, so it's kind of a little less up to chance there for that specifically. I don't think there's any skills that would help us out at 12. No, the cheapest one is 25 here. So we have all of our skills unlocked. I don't know how you end up getting the rest of these superstars. It must just be continuing to progress through, but like we still have, what, two, four, five that we have unlocked. You must just need to beat these separate teams on Expert. I'm assuming you must. But... Anyways, gonna call this episode here, guys. Tried two runs, obviously made it a little further on our first one than we did the second one. I'm still kind of embarrassed about how the second one went, but it is what it is. We'll pick up tomorrow with a new episode here, hopefully make it further. 
because um, I can't stand another early exit. We know what it's like now to play every elite team up to Act, or I guess up to and including Act 2, which is nice. We know what to expect for the Crusaders, where the Prince was really not the dagger in our, uh, or not the nail in our coffin there. It was actually the Knights. Um, obviously, it's probably not going to be that way every time, but we'll kind of have to see how the rest of that goes. Um, going to be an interesting episode next time, honestly, to see kind of where we go from here because we aren't going to be able to do anything that's going to upgrade us off the hop. I don't know at this point. Kelly Jelly was getting us into some important kind of positions, but I don't know. Spin definitely helped. I don't know. I don't know if we go with Kelly, if she's an option again, or if we kind of go back to what we know works, like a dash tomahawk combo. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what we're feeling, but obviously it's definitely deflating to get an early round exit and trying to kind of play something a little different there. So that's the earliest that I've been eliminated in a long time. So that is a tough pill to swallow. Anyways, if you guys have popped in through this video at any point, definitely appreciate you stopping by and checking this one out. Again, apologize for not having anything up yesterday, but hopefully this one kind of wets the whistle a little bit, at least until tomorrow. I'm really, really, really hoping to at least be able to win an Elite game in Act 2 tomorrow. It would be really sweet to nail out two of them and just to see what kind of challenges the Cup Cultists present us in that boss game. But at the same time, I'm not looking forward to that as well. But again, if you stop by here at all, if you're still listening to this, give us a like, drop a comment, and let us know what's going on. If you've picked this game up and what you find's working for you, especially if you're playing expert, I want to hear some tips and tricks that maybe you have that very clearly I do not. Um, and then also subscribe to Friendly Frenzy Games. We've got many more games on the way, much more content, especially for tape to tape coming. I'm really looking to just kind of flesh this game out over the next couple of weeks here as we prepare for June, but super helpful um, stuff coming, and it's been super helpful and enjoyable to chat with you guys kind of through this process. So again, subscribe Friendly Frenzy Games where we have much more stuff for you coming. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. 